Hi guys welcome back to our YouTube channel VS Creation. In this video we see about top 10 cities that will be underwater in 2100. Please press the red color subscribe button and the bell icon and press all. Otherwise our video will not notified to you. In 2100 some cities are at the risk of going under the water in by sea level raise. The main reason for the sea level raising is global warming. Global warming means that Antarctica and Greenland ice sheets are melting and the oceans are expanding. Recent climate change would still cause a 6 meters of sea level rise. Many cities are sea ports and under threat of flooding if the present sea level rises. Ok guys let's take a look at the top 10 cities that will be underwater in 2100. Number 10. Mumbai, India. Mumbai is the capital city of the Indian state of Maharashtra. It is the second most populous city in the country after Delhi and the seventh most populous city in the world with a population of roughly 20 million. As we move towards the next century, there is a good chance that India's financial capital will be submerged. Heavy rains and hurricanes have already battered the city on its shores with floods and sea waves, daring to enter the city's roads. If climate change is not prevented, it will lead to a difficult turn for all the people living in Mumbai. Number 9. Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos is the second most populous city in Africa with a population of 14.8 million as of 2015 within the city proper. The Lagos metropolitan area has a total population of roughly 23.5 million as of 2018. Lagos is also among the top 10 of the world's fastest growing cities and urban areas. It is most affected by sea level rise caused by climate change. Sea level rise is predicted to be 90 centimeters if global warming exceeds 2 degrees Celsius by 2100. Number 8. Bruges, Belgium. Bruges is the capital and largest city of the province of West Flanders in the Flemish region of Belgium, in the northwest of the country, and the seventh largest city of the country by population. Bruges is famous for its canals, cobbled streets and medieval buildings. The city is often termed as the Venice of the North for its intricate network of canals. Nowadays, due to rising sea levels have threatened the beautiful medieval architecture that spans the city along its canals. Climate change may lead to rising sea levels, which could lead to rising water levels of the canals and hence, resulting in floods. Number 7. New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans is a consolidated city parish located along the Mississippi River in the southeastern region of the U.S. state of Louisiana. It is the most populous city in Louisiana. New Orleans is a shipping hub for goods that come down the Mississippi River and also imports from abroad which is now under the threat of deadly storms. Due to rising water levels, many of its port facilities in the lowest part of the river will soon cease to exist. Over 50% of the city is already below sea level and another three quarters will face the same situation by 2050. New Orleans is losing around two inches annually. Number 6. Mexico City, Mexico. Mexico City is the capital and largest city of Mexico and the most populous city in North America. Mexico City is one of the most important cultural and financial centers in the world. The 2020 population for the city proper was 9,209,944 with a land area of 1,485 square kilometers. Since the 1960s Mexico is getting warm. Mexico is heavily dependent on groundwater extraction, which was already a major cause of its sinking. Excessive groundwater extraction by a large number of Mexicans leads to land subsidization. The phenomenon has been worsened by the effects of climate change. Number 5. Kolkata, India. Kolkata is the capital of the Indian state of West Bengal. Located on the banks of the Huli River, the city is approximately 80 kilometers west of the border with Bangladesh. It is the third most populous metropolitan area in India. In India, 31 million people live in coastal areas facing the risk of annual floods. The number of people living in these areas is increasing day by day and can reach up to 51 million by 2100. When the water level rises, salt water enters inland from the sea. All factors together affect warming oceans, which have already led to an increase in climate events such as cyclones, which have left many people living in coastal areas distressed. Number 4. Venice, Italy. 
Venice is a city in northeastern Italy and the capital of the Veneto region. It is built on a group of 118 small islands that are separated by canals and linked by over 400 bridges. Severe flooding due to climate catastrophe has left the most attractive Italian city underwater. The Wave Monitoring Center said the water in Venice had risen by 6 feet or 1.87 meters. Four major floods have already taken place in the last 20 years. Climate change has led to unusual weather patterns and an increase in the occurrence of Aqua Alta. Number 3. Miami, Florida. The city of Miami is a coastal metropolis located in Miami-Dade County in southeastern Florida, United States. With a population of 442,241, as of the 2020 census, it is the 44th largest city in the United States and the core of the nation's eighth largest metropolitan area. The most lucrative beach destination in the world is just three feet above sea level and is at the risk of being submerged at the end of this century. The government has begun planning on how to save Miami from this disaster and is already spending millions. By 2030, the sea level could rise by another 6 inches and a total of 2 feet by 2060. Along with Jakarta as days go by Miami will also become the most vulnerable major coastal city in the world. Number 2. London, United Kingdom. London is the capital and largest city of England in the United Kingdom. It stands on the River Thames in southeast England at the head of a 80 km estuary leading to the North Sea. Large parts of the capital of the United Kingdom is under the threat of submerging due to the rising sea level. Global warming will lead to flooding of the Thames River if timely no reinforcement strategies are implemented. Sea levels are expected to rise by over 40 centimeters unless global warming is limited to 1.5 C above pre-industrial levels. The iconic British capital's prehistoric past is a large contributor to this problem. During the last ice age, glaciers in northern Europe pushed the Earth's crust towards Scotland that resulted in Scotland rising at around 1 mm each year. London is also sinking at the same rate and therefore making it vulnerable to climate change. Number 1. Jakarta, Indonesia. Jakarta officially the special capital region of Jakarta is the capital of Indonesia. It lies on the northwest coast of Java. Jakarta is the center of the economy, culture, and politics of Indonesia. It has province-level status which had a population of 10,562,088 as of 2020. It is the fastest sinking city in the world. North Jakarta is expected to submerge underwater up to 95% by the end of 2050 and has already sunk 2.5 meters in the last 10 years and continuously sinking by almost 25 centimeters every year. This rate of sinking is double the global average for coastal megacities of the world. It is sinking by an average of 1 to 15 centimeters per year with almost half the city submerged under the sea. Nothing could be more alarming than this. North Jakarta has for long been one of the busiest port cities of Indonesia. The climate of the world has started changing due to the industrial revolution and greenhouse gas increase. This is not only causing the global temperature to rise, but is slowing down ocean currents, disturbing the El Nino effect, melting glaciers but also causing the sea level to rise drastically. Sea level rise solutions can save communities and habitats, but they take time to implement. OK, how to stop the sea level raising? Here is a solutions. Reduce greenhouse gas emissions, build a wider foundation, saving electricity, planting trees or reforestation, not cutting trees in the forest carelessly, using alternative energy, not using a tool that produces CFC gas, reduce the use of fossil fuel vehicles, reusing products, recycle the products, stopping burning coal may limit ocean level rise, planting mangroves in places likely to experience tidal water, reduce greenhouse use, prevent global warming. To prevent coastal sand falling into the trench in the middle of the ocean then plant more coral reef seeds along the coast. The coral sea is also used to strengthen the edge of the beach until it is not easily affected by abrasion. Reduce emissions of pollutants, black carbon, methane, ozone, and hydrofluorocarbons. These are the ways to stop raising ocean levels. Ok guys, I hope this video was interesting. If you like this video, please like it, share it with your friends and relatives. Subscribe to VS Creation for more video like this. 
Thank you so much for watching guys.